Hey y'all, we back. Same truck, different video. We was uh, getting kind of long on the last video. It was almost 30 minutes. Figured we better cut it off here. Um, right back at it this morning. So uh, the radius arm rod kit comes with a bolt that's uh, four and a half inches long. It was too long for us, so we got a bolt that was three inches long. Um, because when you put all the tabs and everything together, uh, it was it was long enough it was hitting this bolt, and we can't have that. So we got the right length bolt. I also picked up some half inch by two bolts to hang on. Let me turn this around uh, to replace these bolts because we're not gonna have the radius arm or that bracket that was on top of it originally. So uh, these studs were actually pressed into the radius rod. Um, we knocked those out so we could use them to hold the ball joint in place just for mock up. And then I went and got the right length bolts for that. And one less thing to do. Now I'm gonna get, after making these tabs and get them, uh, get this ground down. I took the plasma and I notched this out so I'd have room to get in here. Um, if I don't have to cut that off, I'm probably gonna leave it. i uh, just gonna clean this up a little bit. That way it looks a little better. And I gotta get in here and get all this frame ground down where I can get a good weld on it and won't have any trouble there. So that's where we're at today when we start this video. So I appreciate y'all watching the last video and coming back to uh, check this one out. Y'all saw the tabs last night. We got them out, got them transferred to the tabs that we have uh, actually the tabs that come with the kit are way longer than this. This is some extra ones that we had. Uh, we're going to keep the really long ones in case we need those for something else and use the short ones. So, uh, I got these marked out. Same as my template. Fix and start cutting. And we're going to get that. Bam. Just like that. All right. Let's go see if they fit. All right, here's what we got now. Uh, we got the tabs tacked up. We got everything where it'll uh, pivot freely. Looks beautiful. Um, of course, the bolts ain't tight, but they're in there. And uh, you can see the fitment on these tabs. Oh, that was kind of hard to see. Got a nice even gap. Right to lay a weld in both sides. And I got clearance right between my bolts now. So it worked out pretty good. Fix the tear it back apart and uh well no i say that i'm not fixing to tear back apart i'm fixing to start on shocks and then once i get the shocks figured out then i'll tear it all back apart and finish welding everything um i had a comment on the last video about the bare metal behind this plate uh what i'll do is uh draw me some lines on it where i can line it back up and get it perfect and cut these tack welds loose pull that down and paint the back side of that because we don't want to leave that uh bare metal um, I usually just don't show stuff like that. So, but yes, the backside of this plate and the frame will be painted um, probably with uh, weld through primer. That way to keep it from rusting in the future. And just one of those little simple things you can do to make it last a lot longer. My dude has spent like an hour trying to find me some shocks and I think <laughs> we have finally found some. Uh, that is a 12 millimeter and it's got a stud on top, but he's got his catalog out looked and looked and looked and i think we got something that'll work hang on i'll tell you part now 34 7 29 we're gonna try it if not i'll be back with the box in worse shape than it is now they probably spray painted black already <laughs> all right so if you didn't catch them the part number was a 34 729 monroe gas magnum shop and it fits beautifully um so this is a 12 millimeter bolt it comes with the radius rod, radius rod delete kit. Um, that 12 millimeter at the bottom. So we had a hard time finding one that was that size. Most of them were standard. They were half inch or whatever. Uh, and it was 12 millimeter. So that, and then we got an eyelet at the top. It fit perfect. Um, there's not a whole lot of metal right here attached to the frame. I mean, you got a, you got a whole lot sticking up there. Um, so what I'm probably gonna do is cut a gusset to weld to the backside to come down to the frame in the center. And I should be able to weld that from under the hood and get to it pretty easy. Uh, Cause I don't want that thing, thing to start bending uh, or break off the frame. So, and this is as far down as it's wanting to go. And with it like that, the shock, I still had to push it up about two inches to get it in there. And uh, I'll show y'all collapse right here real quick. 
bear with me. And I managed to match my finger somehow. Let's get this up for control and we'll away where you can see what's going on. All right, and there's full collapse and the shock still looks beautiful. And it should still have a little bit of upper travel. Try not to bottom them all the way out. Um, that way, you know, you don't, you don't ever have to worry about the suspension full, full weight of the truck being on a bottomed out shelf. So, um, this, this is, uh, still just kind of hanging out there. Uh, next I'm going to come in and do the gussets off the side, but I want to get the shock in there first, make sure. And we're going to gusset this real good and make sure that that bag bracket stays where it's supposed to be. I actually think it's bent up just a hair from where it was. Uh, I'm going to check that before I start putting gusses in. Actually, I can tell it is now for sure. Um, so, uh, get that bent back down where it's supposed to be and start gusting. And this front end is almost done. All right, so we got the gussets to come with the bag brackets. We got those trim knots where there's plenty of clearance around the bag. Got those beat around curve with the bag bracket on both sides. Plenty of clearance. Tack welded on. What's think? I got good shock travel. Um, now that is everything mocked up. So now I'm going to blow it all the way back apart, finish welding everything. Uh, I'm going to mark this real good and cut this plate back off, finish welding everything on the plate, and then put the plate back on after I paint the frame and the back side of that plate. And uh, it'll be ready to go together, hopefully for the final time. And then we can get this junk off the lift. So we got it stripped back down, got everything cut off, uh, made some gussets right here for the upper bag brackets, and weld those in. And the only problem with them is the upper control arm actually hits right here. But when I mocked it up, the bag was pretty much fully extended before the control arm touched the bag bracket. So uh, I'm gonna try it. If, it's, if it is a problem, we'll come back in and clearance it with the grinder, ain't no big deal. But uh, I got all this tore apart. Uh, I'm gonna finish welding all this out on the table and paint the frame and the back side of this bracket and uh, get it back up here and get it welded in fully, weld the shock mount in fully, those two tabs, and get the lower control arm welded out. I'm gonna let KK do it. Can't hide forever. Can't hide forever. All right, we're going to get the uh, last thing I had to do while I had to control them off is this is the little gusset that he sends that goes uh, like so, but I had to cut the pipe up so much, and so now we have this little bitty gusset. Um, yeah. It's cute. It's cute. Like your forehead. Yeah. Hard. No. Starts right here, ends right here. Yeah. All right, so uh, that's what it in, and... Uh, I also added a little piece of pipe right here for a gusset. And that's where I'm at now. Okay, so now I'm fixing to paint the back of this and paint the frame and start getting that ready to get welded on. And then get all this junk assembled and bolt it together, run an airline to it so we can get it off the lift because we got to do Dan's truck tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, um, we're going to do a video on that too. Dan's truck's getting a new rear end because uh, that went out. Yeah. Um, the pinion nut backed off and... Uh, shoot his gears all up so he got a new rear end while well, he's got a new rear end he's got a new bed there's a bed i'll show you all more of that in the video and rear ends over there so y'all look for video on dan's truck but we're gonna walk this up and bolt it all in for the final time or not the final time but enough to roll and ooh, i got us to do wrapped up wait until you see his gas door whose gas door Dan's. oh Let's show them a preview. There's a surprise. Let's, let's go show them a preview. So what do you do? When How do you, when it, your friend says, hey, um, do you mind uh, priming my bed for me? Yes, I will certainly do that for you, buddy. Yeah. Sorry, Dan. Love you. Oh, and just in case he decides to paint over that one, we'll ask him another one. So I marked all my lines and uh, I don't want paint where I got a weld. So we just take that off. We're gonna paint the bare spots 
I'm gonna let KK paint it. Go ahead. Yep, go ahead. Yep, go ahead. No pressure. No pressure at all. We don't want no runs now. Yep, everything inside the square. Or the top hat. Back, back up. Oh, that's not the right can. Is it really not the right can? No, that's why. Here's the right one. Sorry. All right, so let's let's try to get it off because you're gonna be able to see it. Okay, you're really not gonna be able to see it. You have all the professionals on YouTube here. Here you go. She don't know her color. Well, she technically legally is colorblind, so. You getting overspray all over the motor? Oh, I'm just playing, go. I'm just picking on you. Paint it real good. We don't want it to rust. You gotta paint this too. All right, we'll be back 47 momentary. minutes later. It's really like 30 seconds. All right, go paint the control arm. Paint it with that. All right, uh, I gotta weld this out. Uh, get the plate up here, weld it out. I'm gonna let this paint dry for a few minutes because that stuff actually is flammable, I believe. And, uh, yeah, still clicking along. He's better. Alright, there she is, wild it out. I'm gonna wild that little hole over right here too, I cut with a plasma cutter. Okay, you can come well now, or paint now. Huh? No, not, not yet. That won't pull down, but paint the bottom, we'll let it live now. Or is that what you said? That's what I was asking. All right, so that's full droop. It doesn't get as high as it used to, but hopefully it gets a lot lower than it used to. And we're about to uh, jack it up to see. I can tell that it's gonna be a contact with the firewall and the wheel tubs that was previously put in here, I'm pretty sure are gonna hit. Those are gonna come up. Yeah, so we're gonna have to redo those too, but we want this thing to lay out. It's coming up. Oh yeah, that's about to hit already. Yeah, that's hitting the inner fender. Hey, it already touched more wheel than it did. Yeah. Um, because it was a long way from this fender wheel. And shot. Come right up here on the camera. All right, so it's already almost into the firewall. And it's already hitting this uh, inner fender that Billy and put in. So I guess next, cut that out. Do the firewall. Actually, first next is do the other side of the suspension. And uh, we'll go from there. But look at that. Shocks on a mini truck. Look through that wheel right there. Boy. There we go. Shocks on a mini truck. Alright. Here's my next concern. Does it hit the shock? Uh, I got about a half inch clear. To be honest, didn't check that. Beautiful. Plenty of room. Ow. Ow. That was my head. 
So we got lots and lots of steering both ways. I'm just gonna do something about that firewall and that inner fender. I don't think these will be too hard to get out. I think they're just tack welded up. Yeah, they're just tacked in. Under the hood. And uh the project for uh next week. Yes, later on. Alright y'all. That's part two of banging the Toyota Tacoma. Um it's probably gonna be a couple weeks before we start back on it. So we'll go ahead and show you what we did to get this suspension done. Now the sheet metal part is a whole nother story. But the suspension's there and it should lay out on this wheel plus two inches easily. Yeah. Um yeah, I would definitely stick with 18. Definitely. Man. Uh, you can put a 20 on there now, but when we body it, um and again, if anybody knows anything about what they do with the uh, oil pan, let us know. So I don't the, understand why it's stopping there, though, because the bag is uh, still got some room to expand. The ball joints aren't hitting. The upper control arm is not hitting the plate, and the shot's not extended. So when you put air in it, it may actually go higher than that. I don't know. Let's find out. Yeah. Okay. What you say? Yes. Jump up and kick my heels together. That's not what you said. What? I thought you said that was so much better. Yeah, it's so much better. All right, so currently it is sitting on the inner front sheet metal. Oh. Uh, inner front sheet metal. Um, the fender wheels, the new inner fenders are tacked in. So if I get time tomorrow, I'll go ahead and cut those out. Um, that way it'll at least clear that part. I'm pretty sure it's going to be into the firewall, but um, it's a lot lower. It's a lot closer to laying. What's the frame look like? Did you look real close? The oil pan is on the dirt right now. Um, so it's laying oil pan and front cross member, um, and the frame is really close. The thickness of your fingers? Yep. That's how we measure stuff around here. Twat that much. That much. Um, so, uh, I didn't realize this whenever we started, but I'm pretty sure you had to Z these trucks one inch to make them lay out flat. Um, so, that might be about as low as it gets, but until we body drop it. Yeah, until we And then uh, we'll go from there. All right, y'all. Appreciate y'all watching this one. Um, we're going to keep clicking away at it and bring you another video as soon as we get started back on it and we're, we're getting excited so much he's really getting excited I really am. and i really want to get this done so that he can be driving it so i can finish his silverado frame in there on my frame table where it's been for like <coughs> two, <laughs> two two three years i don't know how long it's been but uh this is next uh, or not next but this is getting body dropped after we get this going because uh, he's been waiting on that for a while he's had a set of billets for this thing for like i don't know we went to texas like three years ago and bought them from zach bought them from this guy yeah yeah that guy gauge works good dude you got a 99 dose six silver auto or any of them i think yeah, and you need uh you need the gauges redone hit that dude up gauge works but uh this truck is getting bodied soon he's got a new bed for it we got some 26 inch uh race line, race line commanders commanders um, 26 by 10 in the back with a seven inch lip. Same thing as on my pink truck. Uh, except he's got four wheel drive tires. Yeah, I got a big truck. And that's coming up soon. Y'all yeah. keep watching. We ain't finna stop no time soon.